Hello, my name is Michael with freewebsitetricks.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an error page so that way if somebody logs onto your website and pulls up a page that is no longer existent, this ugly not found page won't show up and you'll get something more custom like this. So for instance, if somebody went onto my website and typed in a page that's non-existent like I typed in test and I don't have a page named test, instead of this ugly not found page showing up, I have my own little message typed in here basically saying what happened, you got an error page, sorry the page you are looking for is no longer in existence, either the page has been moved, renamed, deleted, but on the bright side we have a whole lot of other pages on freewebsitetricks.com for your viewing pleasure. Have a good day and thanks for stopping by. So basically this is a lot more pleasant to somebody's eyes than this ugly not found page. So this is real simple to create. One thing quickly though, every web host does this a little bit different so you might have to call your web hosting company and find out if your uh, HTML document is going to be named error or if they have something else. With my hosting provider which is kissmydomain.com it's basically an error so all I have to do is create an error.html page. Okay so let's go ahead and jump right into Dreamweaver and I already created my error doc obviously because I'm showing you live so I'm just gonna go through real quick and show you what I did. Uh, I don't know how you create your websites. You might do one page at a time. I do everything in templates just because it's a lot easier in the long run. Um, so for me, when I created my error page, I went to File, New, and asked uh, a page from Templates, Free Website Tricks, and Main. All right, so my page is already designed. So then all I did was typed in all the information that I wanted. All right, so error page, and then my little message here and then I go in and you know add the title tag my um, keywords and my description tag so I'm going to go ahead and close this out uh, but basically just to keep it simple um, after I put all that information in there then I went up to file save as and I saved as error.html and I hit save. So if I hit save now, it's going to write over my current error HTML and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to hit cancel and close this out. Upload it to the server. Right click, hit put. Okay, once it goes up to the server, it's live and this is what you see. So right now, let's go to my home page and right here it says index. And I'm going to put index 22. I don't have an HTML called index22 so I'm going to get an error page. So since I don't have an index22.html they're going to get the error page because that page is non-existent. So rather than getting this ugly 404 not found page, this nice page that matches my website um, and then that way hopefully this will keep uh, them intrigued and, and have them maybe browse my website. So instead of getting here and having somebody hit the back button if somebody gets to this page there's a chance that they might actually go to build a website or you know start browsing my websites alright so that's it that's how you create an error page uh, it's pretty simple uh, the only thing I would recommend just check with your web hosting company for what they want you to name it some companies don't want it to be named error.html it might be something else and that's it that's how you create an error page for your website it's pretty simple alright I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please comment uh, let me know if there's something you want me to do a video on or if you have a general comment you want to make about my videos please post a comment also subscribe because I'm planning on making a lot of video tutorials and hopefully my tutorials will help you out in some way once again my name is Michael with freewebsitetricks.com if you get a chance check out my website freewebsitetricks.com 